just going to read. Kurt Grotz. 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 Good evening. I feel fortunate because I just found a, a songbook I had left behind somewhere. Somebody gave it back to me, so I have a lot of my poems. I are actually songs, but I'm going to read this one as a poem tonight. It's called Three Little Big Words. Three little big words can save this world. Yes, they can save you and me. Three little big words. Say them every day now, and you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> Running in the wilderness, lost at sea, or sitting home at your TV. Three little big words. Well, they can save you, no matter where you be. So come on, listen here, as I shout it out to the world for everyone to hear. I love you. Now you know that. And I know you love me. Look around the world and see all kinds of fighting, all kinds of trouble in the air. So I throw out a lifeline, a three-word pipeline, and I love you everywhere. Some people, they may listen. Some folks may be just a wishing. Some will have their doubts. It doesn't really matter who does hear it. It's who says it that really counts. Three little big words can save this world. They can save you and me. Three little big words. Say them every day now. You will see what I mean. And that's three little big words. I love you. Did I ever say that in the poem? Mm -hmm. Once. Once? Yeah. You're listening. <clears throat> this is one I hadn't seen in a long time. This is called... Uh, my canine, I guess it was about my dog Rex who passed away back in 09. <clears throat> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> when God, he put us people on the planet, we roamed the wilderness oh so alone. Then he gave us a dog as a companion. All I wanted to do was to share a simple bone. I miss him like I thought I'd never miss him. <clears throat> I'd miss him like the waves would miss the foam. I'll kiss him when I see him again, my friend. He'll wag his tail and welcome me home. I learned a thing or two from Rex, my canine. The biggest was unconditional love. His eyes could never hide how he was feeling. Now he's running free in heaven up above. I miss him like I thought I'd never miss him. I miss him like the waves would miss the foam. I'll kiss him when I see him again, my friend. He'll wag his tail and welcome me home. Time it's come to say one last good night. I shed a tear of joy. Good day has gone by. Then I saw his face floating in the blue sky. I heard a bark of joy. Yeah, it's all right. I miss him like I never thought I'd miss him. I miss him like the waves would miss the foam. I'll kiss him again when I see him again, my friend. He'll wag his tail and welcome me home. That's my canine. That was about my dog Rex. It was, I have a great dog now, kind of like, uh, I guess the dog now, Zach, was almost reincarnated from Rex, who was just a tremendous dog. And it was the day after we had to put him down, or the, that day, we went down to celebrate by a creek. And there was a, uh, just as I went to play my flute along with this creek at this spot that I like, I looked up into the sky to say a prayer, and here the clouds had formed into the perfect shape of a dog's head. And if I didn't have somebody with me that looked at the same time and saw it and said, do you see that? <coughs> I never would have believed it. And just by coincidence, it's funny how poems can be stories too, but just by coincidence, it was a Sunday and the shooting range nearby wasn't open early like it normally is. This opened exactly at 12 o'clock, which just happened to be when we were saying this poem. So sure enough, as soon as I got done, the, the gun range went off, and all of a sudden they started shooting into the air. And my friend goes, was your dog a military dog? <laughs> Timing is everything. I'll do one more here. 
this is called Fall. This was recent, written pretty recently. If all I have are these thoughts of you, that would be enough. To last a lifetime to the bone through and through. Afraid to think it's love. There's something stirring inside me, a thousand shades of blue. Smile on my face, the skies retreat to the colors surrounding you. Songs come to me naturally. They stay, but love it goes. I pray this isn't one, of, one and done. I want to sing it to you. There's something stirring inside of me, a thousand shades of blue. Smile on my face, the clouds retreat to the colors surrounding you. The falling leaf, orange, red, and gold, I hear it hit the ground. You blow in on an eastern breeze, creating the falling sound. There's something stirring inside me, a thousand shades of blue. Smile on my face, the clouds retreat to the colors surrounding you. And, uh, should I do one more? We can do one more. Okay. We're going to do another round after refreshments, I think, too. I'll do, I'll do, uh, here's one called Sullivan County Tree. <coughs> it's about a big tree I saw up in Sullivan County one day. So I guess it could be any tree anywhere. Once there were children climbing my limbs, Audrey, Mariah, Nicholas, and Tim, laughing and singing their natural hymn, happily going nowhere. I come from greener mountains than any car could be. Friends called me ant, you call me tree. Cars carry people to somewhere around me when I'm happily going nowhere. The ringing inside me makes not a sound, yet sings of each season as it comes around. Each came and went while I stood my ground, happily going nowhere. Happily going nowhere, nowhere is where I'd like to be. Happily going nowhere, nowhere like a tree. Three hundred years of standing around, leaves in the air and roots in the ground. The bipeds, they came and they chopped me right down building their road to somewhere. After 300 years, I'm flat on my side, stripped of my bark and stripped of my pride. Nothing left but this ringing inside, next to the road, going somewhere. Now I'd like to know where somewhere might be, and I bet all my rings, it's built with a tree. Yes, somewhere was paid for by trees just like me. When we're happier, just going nowhere.